All right guys, just want to show you this, all of this kale we've got growing here. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies hate to All right guys, now before we get out there to check out the kale, I get a couple special announcements and you're really gonna like it because one of them is, one of you are gonna be able to win one of these grow lights um if you got, don't know brad at hidden harvest grow, grow lights hidden harvest grow lights i'm gonna have his uh link down in the description below go check out his channel um he gave me a bunch of lights and and i set them up and i've got this stuff growing all the stuff that you've seen growing in here indoors was grown under those grow lights um we came in if you watch my other video called the basil jungle uh, I came in there after we talked and I trimmed it all up. I've got bags and bags and bags of basil in my freezer and a refrigerator. One of you guys gave me a cool tip too. Um, I didn't want to just make a bunch of pesto at once. You know, pesto is good when it's fresh, you know, and, and, and uh, it doesn't last all that, that long. Uh, but you told me if you took the basil that we trimmed and don't wash it, don't do anything to it and, and freeze it, uh, put it in a freezer bag and roll it up and freeze it and I did that and it looks like it's alright so I'm gonna uh, pull it out and you know give it a try but we've got like basil in our freezer and basil all over the place and we actually trimmed all of this up down to about six to eight inches and it's already grown back so it's already up to light you guys can't really see those up there but I trimmed all those down they're up to the light again and let me pull this in here these are some of them that we trimmed off of there. See the roots? Just think it's fun putting them in little test tubes like that. So we got basil all over the place and all grown under these grow lights. This was the one that we did in this little container. And remember I cut it open so you could see the roots. I had so much basil to put up, I said, I'm just going to leave this and I'll throw some more nutrients in the bottom because remember we op opened it up so we, we emptied out the nutrients. I just poured some more nutrients in it. I don't want to pu pull it out because it's full of nutrients and the water is going to go everywhere. But you can see the roots are still there. You know, just for fun, you know, it's just experimenting. I was like, why not just give it a try? So I've just been still just adding nutrients in there like I said it's not like the optimal thing but it's growing you know so that's why I said you know plants want to grow and sometimes I don't know maybe we try to take care of them too much in that you know that that everything out there wants to survive and and this was you know either it's it's just wanting to survive or it's the grow lights so that that's pretty cool it's still going the smell in here is just wonderful so I just like doing little fun things like that you know and if, if you guys do that or you have kids you know get your kids involved that's cool but you know sometimes if you just go we're gonna go you know do this you gotta you know tell them all these different things that they have to do they don't get too excited but if you break out little test tubes and and do little projects like that they get excited about it so kids are really important to get involved in growing um wow all these little leaves all these new little leaves come up just look fantastic but yeah so tune in sunday night uh 8 p.m and we're gonna figure out some way to give away one of these grow lights to all of y'all. In the meantime, go check out Brad. Uh, I'm a simple guy. I don't really know all the technical stuff. I don't wanna know, you know, how many watts something is uh, and all the technical things. There's a lot of channels out there. They, they wanna, you know, uh, give you all that technical stuff and act like, you know, they're, they're really smart and which they are, they're probably like 10 times smarter than me. But I'm a simple guy. I just want to know, does it work? And how much is it worth? Can I get it? Basically, that's it. So I know these work. And I get them from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. I said, I have his channel down below. So if you want to know the technical stuff, go on over there. Brad is the one. He actually has these made. He designed them himself. And uh, he knows all the technical stuff about it. And you can see what he grows. You know, I've just got like basil and cress and kale and stuff growing over here. Uh, and he's got all kinds of stuff growing in his basement all the time. So go back, go on over his channel and check out 
what he's grown over the past couple of years with these lights. Um, we're also going to be talking about uh, the online course. So many of you signed up for that, it like blew my mind. And some of you got through the whole thing already. Um, uh, we had it for the last week for $9.99. And like I said, that's for you guys there. Uh, we're going to be going ahead and I'm going to be selling it off of YouTube, you know, around at other places, Facebook, Instagram, and everything. And a lot of you were asking about the affiliate program. I had mentioned that you can do it too. And I, and I wanted to help out a lot of you. And what we did was we're, we're trying to figure out a, a price point. And I'm thinking somewhere around $37, $39 something. And I'm, I want you guys to earn like 80% of it, 70 to 80% or something. So you make about 28 to $30, you know, off of a $37 sale or a $39 sale. So we're kicking around that price, so you guys go ahead and let me know. Tune in Sunday, and if you're interested in it, uh, let me know if that like, seems like a fair price point, uh, if it's something that you can work with, and then uh, I'm gonna be helping you too as far as selling it. I'm gonna be making little videos that you guys can take. They're gonna be copyright free. You can take it and post it anywhere you want. Instagram, Facebook, you know, just send the video to your friends or whatever, and basically it'll sell itself and you put your little affiliate link in there and the, the sale will go through and, and you don't have to do anything and you'll make the money off of it. So uh, a lot of you have already uh, contacted me about that. If you haven't already, keep on growing one at gmail.com and uh, uh, don't get excited if I don't get right back to you because that's the email I get like everything and and it's hard sifting through it all sometimes but, but I will get to y'all. Um, so we're going to be doing that Sunday night. Y'all tune in for, for that. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. I'm going to be like making some more pesto and everything. And uh, uh, we're going to be giving away one of these lights. Isn't that fantastic? All right. And now you guys get out to the garden. And what you're going to see out there with the kale is a little bit different. All we've been doing before is off-grid hydroponics. It's no aeration, no pumps. You know, it's just putting stuff in a nutrient solution and letting it grow. Now, some of you have seen, I've been posting pictures, especially on Instagram and that, of uh, another little system I have called the NFT system. And I think I have one video from last year where the pump went out and, and everything kind of died um, or wilted. Uh, so I keep getting lots of questions about that. So some of you guys have mastered this. You know how to do a cracky system. You're growing things and you do want to get a little aeration to, you do want to grow a bigger crop and, and you want to level up. So um, I've got one of those systems. I like having, I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket. I have several things going at one time. So I do have one of that. I just don't want to show a lot of that while we we're teaching everyone this so they wouldn't get mixed up. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show for anyone that's interested. Like I said, you can totally just do this and don't worry about it. You don't even need to do that. But you can check out this video and just see what you can do if you do add a little bit of aeration and the difference in the in the crops and and see if it's something you might be interested in all right let's go check it out and this is what we call an nft system it's not a true nft i'll explain that later but it's just a diy one made and uh we planted a lot of kale we've got some collards back there and it's little cucumbers like an experiment but uh basically it's a bunch of kale and i want to show you because we took some of this we planted kale from the microgreens that we grew and we planted some of the um, downspouts we've got those out front and we planted some in here and i want to show you the comparison of them so you can see we've got this here and my wife has been picking off of it you can see we use it like a cut and come again and just start going from the bottom but let me explain the system real quick it starts off with a reservoir you know, that's a 16 or 20 gallon tote, forget which one. Um, but you just start with one, a dark one, so you don't get algae. You can see this has been here for months. You can see there's no algae in there. And it starts with a little, we've got a little pump in there. And it comes up through a tube. Goes in it right there. Flows down to the other end. Put a bend in it. A bend in it. And it flows down to the other end let's go back down here because let's see if you can hear that
Can you hear that? It comes down here and falls in there. So I've got the microphone turned around the wrong way. Let me turn the mic around. Hear that? So when it falls in, it aerates it. So it falls in there, drains into that, pump goes right back. We leveled out these saw horses, and on this side, this one tube, put two two by fours, so that's up three inches off the saw horse. Come down here, we put one two by four across both sides, and I put a little pool noodle here to jack this up a little higher. We use pool noodles for everything, and that way the water flows that way all the way back down to here. Let's look under here. And we've got, you can see it's sitting right on the sawhorse. So this side is up three inches higher than that. And then down to one and a half on the other side. So that's how I level it out. Nice and simple. Just level out your sawhorses or whatever you're going to set it on. Jack it up on one side. Lower it a little. Lower it when you come back. And that way nutrients go in there. Flow around and come back around here. Nice and simple. So let's go take a look at some of the kale we've got growing on the other side like i said um this is not a true nft system a true nft system would be thinner i think i've got a piece here here we go this is an nft channel see how thin it is that's only about an inch and a half right and this would never be filled up there'd just be a film of nutrients flowing along the bottom so they pump it in one end and it flow down to the other and it drain out. This is uh, an NFT channel if you all are interested. Now we've got this pipe so you can tell that's four inches instead of an inch and a half. So it's got water flowing in the bottom here and you have a big space in here. I think there's an air gap so whenever you pull these out you always see air roots in that so I think that that helps. Um, so I like doing it like this works out well for me and uh, you can see we've got a load of kale growing here now let's go look at here's one right here I pulled this out of the um, we had another set of, I think right down there where we had some kale and it wasn't doing too good I stuck this guy over here to see if it'd pep up a little but let's go check the the kale outside like I said people ask about aeration and pumps you know whenever they first see cracky hydroponics they're like oh you don't need any pumps you know what about aeration if you can do it it's always better but we want to show people the easiest way to grow all of this is cracky and it's just sitting here set it and forget it if I go out of town this stuff will be good for three four days all that basil you know you can refill this up to here and it's going to go days and days and days once it's mature what this here we planted that about two and a half weeks ago haven't even touched it yet so we don't even mess with stuff when they're small like these it's just set it forget it leave it for about a month before you even have to mess with it and these guys are already starting to pep up so we love the pak choy our crest so true set it and forget it if i go out of town that's going to be okay no doubt in my mind this if i go out of town the electricity goes off and the pump goes out all the nutrients drain out and all those roots in the heat this thing will dry up you know in a day and, and uh, you lose the entire crop so this system works good you can tell you grow loads of food um, I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket, so I have this system set up. We get a lot of food out of here. If the pumps go out and I lose this, we've still got other stuff growing here, and let's go walk out front. Here's the same thing. It's got, we're harvesting. It's time to redo the cilantro. We've done eight tons of it. It bolted. We went ahead and let it sit here to get a couple little flowers. For the bees and pollinators but we just had a bad storm and it kind of wrecked the cilantro but i wanted to show you this real quick here's all of the kale 
and we got some crests growing started this is what we mean about we have different crops growing at different times those we just planted out right and then these are getting ready to harvest that one's getting ready to replant today i've got some more cilantro to go in there but you can see this doesn't look that bad it's a bunch of kale this is cracky system but you can see that these leaves are not quite as big and they're kind of hanging over you know they're not shooting straight up the weather just cooled off a little bit but um this like i said carefree system i haven't done anything all i do is come in here and refill this i think i refilled this three times you know it gets down to half refill it back up to three quarters and that's all we've done with this and so no pump no aeration totally possible to grow a bunch of food the cracking system but like i said if you can get aeration and get you an nft system that's good too so i like to do both get out there keep on growing close your eyes get some rest Side. Lay your head on my chest